Narendra Modi will be attending G20 summit on 14 to 16th of November in Indonesia's Bali. Heads of governments from 20 major economies will convene in Indonesia for the group of 20 summit, with India set to take the helm next month. This is going to be a short but significant G20 summit for Prime Minister Modi, with India set to take over the presidency from Indonesia for next year's session. He will also participate in three key sessions related to food and energy security, digital transformation and health and hold 20 engagements in 45 hours. There is speculation Prime Minister Modi is likely to meet UK's new Prime Minister Rishi Sunak at the summit and held bilateral meetings with US President Biden. The summit may also witness a face-to-face -face meeting of Biden and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. Remember, the Biden-Xi meeting comes amid a slew of provocations from North Korea and murmurs about a Chinese invasion of Taiwan as fallout from Nancy Pelosi's Taipei visit. India will be taking forward the, the main, main uh, points of Indonesia's policy of its presidency, which are related with renewable energy, health, and digital transformation. However, it will also be a very good and appropriate occasion for our Honorable Prime Minister to tell the world leaders about the main theme of India's own G20 presidency. The mighty Hanuman on display over here in Bali. Uh, Ramayana is something that is celebrated in Indonesia as well. You'll see a lot of statues of Ram, of Sita, of Hanuman uh, across the streets of Indonesia, especially uh, Bali and Jakarta. Uh, only the fact that uh, a little changes that you see over here that are made uh, has to do with the way Hanuman looks, the way he uh, dresses um, a, a lot of traditional attire when it comes to Indonesian attire. And what he's holding, it uh, looks like a dragon, uh, does not look like the, the creatures that normally we see Hanuman holding and fighting. But certainly the connect over here quite clear. Indonesia and India are connected not just by uh, the roots of uh, people's to people to people contact but also by culture and by religion. In Bali, Geeta Mohan for India Today. Leaders from group of 20 nations are going to be in Bali to discuss major global issues be it the Russia-Ukraine war, post-pandemic recovery or for that matter the economic crisis that the world is grappling with. Recover together, recover stronger is the motto, and rightly so. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been pointing out that groups like the Group of Seven are not really representative of the world order. Group of Twenty are going to discuss and look at solutions that the world needs today. India will be taking over presidency of the Group of Twenty in 2023 from Indonesia, and India's pitch is not just about moving forward trying to look at solutions and alternatives to energy food and economic crisis but also to find ways and solutions that are sustainable that are forward looking and keeping environment and climate change in mind in bali geeta mohan for india today